name is Jordanka and welcome to my channel. So, um, today I'm thinking of doing makeup with pricked palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics that I just got. Actually, I got it a little bit back in time but I finally have time to play with it and I'm really excited so here is the packaging it's really amazing I really like it it looks like a bag it's very chic and Here are the colors. The color scheme is really like fun, warm, amazing. And I, I was really, really excited to get this palette. Um, like, if I have to be honest, I have a lot of makeup, uh, but I really don't have those colors and they work really nice with the skin like with the, uh, they're like very natural but not boring like uh, the usual nudes um, so yeah, yeah. and uh, today i would like to do a chocolate inspired makeup with this palette so let us see what will happen so, on my face, I have only a little bit of foundation um, as well as on my eyelids because I would like to use black and I expect more of a fallout. Uh, so, that's why I didn't do my makeup before. Um, I will start with JS6 natural fibers I will start with this wow with this beautiful orange orange for orange fatal this eyeshadow and I will apply it in my cut crease Wow, such such an intense, beautiful pigment. You know, my skin is not really white. I'm on the medium skin tone. And not all eyeshadows are visible on my skin. Wow, wow. Usually, Jeffrey does really like trunk uh, type of makeup uh, packaging that's really on the male side, but this, uh, this in my opinion, is really really chic. Okay, guys, look at this orange! Wow, wow. With the same brush, I'm dipping into double crossed this really chocolate brown shade. I'm not cleaning the brush. I'm so sorry, I will damage the Scorpio imprint, but okay. And I apply double crossed above orange fatal. Wow, look at this brown. It's amazing. It works really well. 
on the orange and just on its own. Uh, at this point, I will dip into slice me open and I will apply it above double crossed. I will do deadly intentions. But for it, I will take another brush, a smaller one, and this is JS12. So I'm dipping into this black Deadly Intentions. Oh, wow, yes, it works really perfectly because it covers the other shades. Wow. Wow. I didn't expect it to work that good. If I have to be honest, I expected it to be more patchy. Wow. And this black will make the warm orange shades really pop, pop out. I'm drawing a good crease with concealer. I'm using JS uh, Jeff Star Cosmetics uh, Magic Concealer in C6 and uh, I'm using um, JS11 brush like a huge brush with synthetic brushes uh, fibers so I reapplied the concealer because the black is really intense and I'm applying a lighter shade in the inner corner of my eye at that point with the same brush but the clean one I'm applying sliver of sanity this warm yellow on a natural side yellow color on a natural side I mean it looks like clay something like a, a soil you can, uh, colors that you can find in nature okay so I'm applying it because usually that's the colors of food natural colors Wow, wow, yeah, I really like this color, it's very specific, it's, I've never seen a shade like this before. Okay, I brought it uh, further than my middle, but now with um, Sorni. Sorni, I'm covering, covering it, and I'm just using Torni as a transition shadow, just like this. Look, look at this, such a great colors. And then I'm dipping again into double crossed. And I'm filling the rest of my eyeshadow. Just making it a real chocolate look. And I did all these transitions only with one brush and I really appreciate the palette that uh, just saves me some time and efforts. With JS7 I'm dipping again into black, the Deadly Intentions. And I'm doing my lower eyelid. And 
and to make it more like a chocolate I'm dipping into double crossed brown and I'm applying it above for Deadly Intentions but just a little bit because I don't want to lose the, the intensity of the black so at this point I will stop I will do my other eye I I will clean the fallout, I will apply foundation, concealer, bronzing powder, mascara, I will do the F-proof mascara mm, and I will be back with you. Okay, I am back with my both eyes ready. Uh, as you can see, I didn't apply eyeliner because I wanted uh, the eyeshadows just to be like visible and just to see how they work on their own. I actually dipped in all the brown shades and I'm really, really amazed. I think this palette is of really great quality. I didn't expect that I will be able to do such a mm, look that includes so much blending, so much transitions with with such an ease, with so little fallout, like really, really amazing. And actually those colors work really great with with skin tone, with natural human skin tones. Okay. So right now, as always, I will go on with the highlighter and I would use uh, 24 karat Skin Frost Pro Palette. My soul loved and used palette. It's really amazing. And I will use Sir Sarcophagus for my brow bone. I just want really to... Uh, to do this look like the complete look I will not only I could stop here without doing the highlighter but I would love to do it uh, so I go on with sarcophagus with uh, flat brush JS10 I will emphasize my eyebrows Yes, this highlighter is amazing. <laughs> okay, I will not do the teardrop, um, but I will do my cheekbones and uh, I will do King Tut. King Tut, King Tut. You know, I'm such a huge fan of ancient Egypt. How not? Why not doing King Tut? The boy pharaoh, the last one of the 18th dynasty, the the last one of the imperial period of ancient Egypt. So. I will go on with my lips and I will use the Supreme Gloss from the Pricked collection in uh, Never Content and this smells amazing like chocolate and oranges yeah so tasty amazing smell the best smell of makeup that I've ever come upon and right now in winter I prefer using glosses and this color is amazing it really works out for me okay with uh, this lip gloss this look is complete I you can see I even get got my hair back so that my face could like stand out 
I was really excited to see how this pricked palette works and so far I'm really happy with the result um, I did expect that uh, it uh, would be of a highest, greatest possible quality but I honestly didn't expect uh, eyeshadows actually to be so natural looking. I expected them to be more of an orange somehow but they worked perfectly with the skin tone and I didn't expect them to be so blendable, so easy to work with. <laughs> so yeah guys this is from me This is my complete look, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again. Bye bye!